Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prevent access to a local drive for specified users on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in File Explorer, Best File, File Explorer. Best match, should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select this PC. And then right-click on what drive you want to restrict the user access to. And select Properties. And now you want to select the Security tab. And where it says to change permissions, click Edit. Go ahead and click the Edit button here. And then at this point, go ahead and select the Add button. Enter in the username that you want to adjust the setting privileges to. So you can just type in anyone, really. Just make sure it's a computer username. So just type in their username here. And then you'll select Check Names. If it's not coming up with a name, you may want to go underneath and select the Advanced button here. And then select Find Now. And then select the username from the list that shows up down here. It might be an easier way for you to locate it. Just be very careful what you're doing here. Make sure you actually select the correct username and you're not doing an administrator account or something along those lines. Just make sure you're doing a specified user. So, I mean, technically, I think you could do an administrator account, but you don't want to do it on the only administrator account you have on your computer because that could create issue. So you may also want to create a system restore point as well. So you may want to create a backup before you proceed with this regardless. But anyway, assuming it's just an external drive or some secondary hard drive, um, it shouldn't be an issue here. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a guest account just for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to delete the original text that I wrote in this field. So it just purely has just the username here of the account we want to adjust. It's all underlined, and I'm going to select OK. You're going to go check mark where it says full control, check mark deny, so it should all be denied here. You don't have to check mark special permissions, that's fine if that remains grayed out. Select apply. And just keep in mind that deny entries take precedence over allowed entries. This means that if a user is a member of two groups, one that is allowed a permission and another that is denied the same permission, the user is denied that permission. Do you want to continue? We're going to do yes, because that's the purpose of this tutorial here, guys. So about to change permissions on the root directory of the startup disk. Now, like I said, we're doing this on the C drive here, and we don't have a guest account currently active, so it's not an issue. I really would stray away from doing this on the main Windows partition here. I'm just doing this purely as an example for demonstration purposes. But like I said, if you have like a secondary storage hard drive or something along those lines, that's something I would more or less consider this for. But anyway, go ahead and select Yes here. And we're having some errors here because, like I said, this is the main hard drive here. It's probably part of the reason we're coming across these security errors here. But it just applied successfully. And then if you wanted to undo that, you just would go back into Properties here. You would go and select the Guest Account. And then you would select Full Control and then Apply Yes, Continue. And basically, that would be about it. There were some error messages, of course. I don't really need to get into the specifics of all of that. I'm just pointing out, and like I said, you really shouldn't be coming across that if you're doing it just for a secondary hard drive. It's purely because Windows is installed on the hard drive partition that we're doing that on. So, and like I said, I would not suggest doing that on a Windows partition. I would do it on another hard drive. And you can tell which drive Windows is installed on by the little Windows icon above the hard drive. So... Pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.